Hey, how are we doing there, guys and girls? Welcome back. All right, so we're gonna have a, a nice short video today, just simply going over some very common hazards that you might find as a motorcyclist on everyday roads. You've got the obvious things like oil slicks and things like that, but there are lots of other things on the roads that you would want to look out for that yeah, can, can give you some problems, okay? So a great example, I mean, I just had it just now, is some gravel. Just riding around on these pretty nice roads here, there was just a patch of gravel. You try braking hard on that, you're just gonna, it's just gonna end up becoming like ice. Yeah, it's not gonna end very well. Because you won't get any, any, any grip, you won't get any traction, simple as that. So it's definitely one of those things that you wanna keep an eye out for is gravel, but also things like dry patches on the road. You know, this road here is a little bit wet down the middle. Follow the tracks of car tires, you know? Either stick to lane three or lane one to try and get yourself the best possible grip. Because again, your road position may help you an awful lot when it comes to those braking times, when it comes to cornering and things like that. You'll find it a hell of a lot easier if you're just in one of those positions to begin with. I mean, something else as well that you really, really don't want to encounter course is ice you know ice and then things like that potholes you don't want to eat one of the things that you find that you find a lot happening is that when you have something like that in the road you think I need to keep my eye on it to try and get around it to avoid it but that's actually not how it works what, it, what ends up happening is that the more you focus on it the more you'll ride towards it the thing you're supposed to do is actually look at the direction that you want to go so you keep it in your peripheral vision, you look in the direction that you want to go and execute the maneuver that way. Don't look at the obstacle, don't look at the hazard. Look at, <laughs> I know it sounds a bit counterintuitive, but look at the direction that you want to go. Yeah, trust me. There have been occasions where I've made that mistake and I'm like, damn, why, why do I do that? It's because you, you're, you're focused on the hazard. But it, I suppose it just depends on your type, the type of reaction that you have to certain hazards. So, yeah, just keep, keep that in mind, all right? Especially around potholes and things, but that goes for pretty much anything in the road. It's stones, large stones and what have you. Anything like that can be an absolute killer on a motorcycle. Yeah, it's just no, no fun whatsoever. And even like roads like these that are quite narrow here, a lot of these puddles here, like that one there that we just went past, is covering a pothole. It's hiding hiding a pothole. So again, just be really, really weary of puddles on the road because you never know what's underneath them. So personally, avoid try and avoid uh, avoid puddles. Avoid puddles I mean, if, if you can. Anyway, if they're small enough to avoid, then yeah, definitely avoid them. This road here is very, very gravelly all around. So I'm actually gonna slow down a bit here because uh yeah it, it's quite loose the road is quite loose i think uh i went i came down this road about a year ago and it was the same then so i wonder if this is a fairly new road or if this is just simply what they made the road out of it's just not very good see on four wheels this isn't a problem but on two wheels this oh god it gives you nightmares this stuff roads like these yeah, so take care on these kinds of roads, guys. And I mean, I know this is probably more applicable to country, country environments, you know, country roads and things, as or rural areas as opposed to urban areas. But yeah, you know, if you end up going on a bit of an adventure, just keep an eye on the road condition. Keep an eye on, just get a feel for the road. Yeah, don't don't blast it down a road if it's a road that you that you're unfamiliar with. Just take it easy, just get a feel for it, because believe it or not as well, different road materials will feel different on the bike. You'll get some roads that are really, really confident, inspiring, and they give you a load of grip and braking distances are really good and all that stuff. But 
then you'll encounter roads like these, or even patches of roads like this, for God's sake, you know, where you've got areas of road that are perfectly fine and perfectly good, and then they, they try re retarmacking the roads or something like that with something absolutely rubbish and loose. <laughs> and then so for that particular section of road, you've got to be very, very careful. And I know that's quite a difficult thing to manage because when you're on a long journey, especially, you're not thinking about it. But on a motorcycle, you have to, you haven't got a choice. You have to stay aware at all times of the condition of the road. All right, so let's move on a little bit then to other types of hazards that you might find that I've had the unfortunate pleasure of experiencing in the past. Watch out around parked cars. Parked cars are a friggin' nightmare, especially if you are on a single track road, or well, you've got a, you've got a road that can support two cars, but you've got a, a line of cars all the way up a particular road. And again, this is this is applicable here to, to cities in particular. But you will get people, elderly people, young people, children, people pushing prams in between parked cars and they don't look before they cross. And as a, as a motorcyclist, you do have a, a slight advantage here because you'll be able to see over the top of most parked cars. So you'll be able to tell if the if there's someone that's looking to cross cross a road in between parked cars, you'll be able to tell, you'll be able to see. But it could be a van, someone could be behind a van and they're not focusing, they're not concentrating and they just end up walking out into the middle of the road. Yeah, that's the worst scenario, guys, because you as the as the rider you have responsibility because that's how it is here in the uk i mean it might not be the case in other parts of the world but here in the uk that's how it is all right you run into someone it's your fault regardless of what happens because you are the road user or you're the one i don't know who supposedly has priority on the road things like that that's just the attitude that people have over here no matter how stupid some people might actually be but yeah man I, uh, it's, it's so tough it, it's, it's so tough but that's just that's just the way it is here okay but anyway the thing is in a situation like that you don't want to run anyone over anyway Mate, for, for your sake but also the bikes the bike's sake as well oh man I've been riding for a little while today <laughs> yeah starting to get a bit a bit uncomfortable in between the legs I mean, again, I mean, we're talking about parked cars here, but if you do have parked cars close to a junction, now legally in the UK, I think you're not allowed to park, is it up to 10 meters? 10 meters to a junction? You're not allowed to park within 10 meters of a junction. People friggin' do it though. You see it all the time, people are parked everywhere as close as they possibly can to junctions. And again, it makes it hard for traffic that's trying to get out of the junction to see you on the road. All right, again, so that's where you end up having to make sure that you're in the right lane position to begin with to give junctions like these, for example, as much time as possible to see you. Now, imagine you're a biker, okay? You're in lane three, so you're in the lane that's closest to the center of the road. Well, if you have parked cars, say here on the side of the road then you're gonna get make yourself far more visible you know so always try and make sure that you as a rider you, you're making yourself as visible as possible at all times especially around busy areas because that's just where people make mistakes man people make a lot of mistakes when they're stressed out and they're around loads of traffic things like that it, yeah people people make mistakes in those high stress situations, those high stress environments. So yeah, try and keep yourself in lane three because most of the time that's where you're gonna be most visible. All right. Yeah, hazards guys, hazards can come from anywhere. A lot of it comes down to your perception and how much you are concentrating, okay? 
If you are concentrating, then you'll be absolutely fine. If you're focused, you'll be fine. But as soon as you hit any distractions, as soon as you are in one of those high stress level situations where you're stuck around loads of traffic and things like that, that is when you have to focus the most. Yeah, that's where you need to be the most aware. The most aware of your surroundings, the most aware of what's going on around you. It's, it becomes very, very easy to forget that you're on a motorcycle, to forget how vulnerable you are on a motorcycle. It doesn't take much to hurt your lot on a motorcycle, okay? But anyway, I just wanted to kind of make this, this quick little video. This is mainly for the beginner riders, of course, but I don't know, maybe some of you experienced riders out there, that maybe there are other things that you might want to mention down in the comments, definitely leave it down there for me. I'd really appreciate it. Things like pheasants. <laughs> pheasants here in the UK are a big problem. Uh, I literally ran over one a couple of weeks ago in my car, luckily, you know, it wasn't on the, on the bike, but you hit one of those things, they're not light birds. You hit one of them, you'll feel it. You'll damage the bike. If you're lucky, you'll just damage the bike, but there's a lot of potential for it to knock you off your bike as well. So yeah, just keep that in mind, guys. Like I was there. It could be anything, but yeah. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. As always, leave a like, hit subscribe. Definitely go and check out the video that we got next coming up on the end screen. And we'll catch you all in the next video. Have a good one.